Welcome to Shadow Tanunda. I'm John Giva, the owner of Shadow Tanunda. It's our 125th anniversary, and we're so extremely proud as a family. With me is my daughter, Michelle Giva. And we're excited to start you off today in the vineyards and then move us through to the winemaking at Shadow Tanunda. G'day everyone, Stewie Bourne, winemaker at Chateau Tanunda, down here in our Bethany Vineyard. Magic site down here, planted in the 1960s, and it's the site of the early Bethany community, the first community of the Barossa from the 1800s. Now we've got Shiraz and Cabernet down here, they're getting close to harvest. We're going to take you through the process of winemaking, and of course, it all starts here in the field. The most important decision we can make at this time of year as winemakers is when do we actually pick the grapes? You want them at optimum ripeness. So what we're doing now is we're assessing these to see when they're going to come in. Right, so in terms of fruit maturity, to arrive at that decision when to pick the grapes, we look at a couple of different things. And here's a bunch of Shiraz. A bunch of Cabernet Sauvignon, obviously quite different at different stages of advancement. The Cabernet is much less ripe. The Shiraz, I reckon we'll be picking that next week. Things we look at, colour, flavour and most importantly, seeds. Here's some Cabernet seeds I've just picked. I've chewed the berries, I can taste green apples, the seeds are green. It's easy decision, it's not ripe. Other things we can do, measure sugar levels. Refractometer here we use for determining the concentration of sugar, the BOME. That will tell us what kind of alcohol levels to expect. So after we've made the decision to pick from out in the vineyard, the fruit gets picked into small half ton bins. It gets brought into the winery where it's gravity fed through a destemmer. It's not crushed. We want whole berries for the ferment. And then it ends up here in a little old fashioned open fermenter. The last part of the process after we've basket pressed our wines is we put them into barrels and we age them and mature them, trying to soften them up. Because once they're matured in barrel, the next step is we put the blends together we run them down the bottling line and then we take them out to market for you. So hopefully that gives you an understanding now as to how we actually make wine here at the beautiful Chateau Tanunda. So from all of us here in our 125th anniversary year, cheers to a great vintage, cheers to you all.